Air signs, you and I, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What's popping? Did you miss me? Hmm. Are y'all out here being magical as fuck? Unapologetically? Hmm. Y'all out here speaking truths that people don't like, like in September? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hey boo hey. Hey boo hey. If this is your first time you're my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? Like a motherfucker. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell this energy is doing in these damn cards. But I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reading here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. This is my shit, alright? Thank you so much, you guys, for the likes, the shares, the comments, the donations, okay? The readings, the support, you guys, the emails, the text messages, the love. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever. I really appreciate you guys, as well as for you guys being patient, because y'all didn't cut the hill up like them fire signs, baby. We had to address it, because we wasn't going to do that, all right? If you need a personal reading, you guys, um, that information can be found within the description box, as this is general, okay? If you haven't followed me on IG, what the hell are you doing? It's weekly tea over there, okay? Follow me at mocha underscore love underscore tarot, okay? I do do weekly readings over there elementally as well, all right? Also, you guys, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fuss and fight. We don't do that shit. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love. We grow. We evolve, you guys. We cuss, all right? Sometimes we cry. Listen, you don't never know how we come and we family. So we don't do that negative-ass energy over here. Don't get in them comments cutting up. Because how I'm set up, I'm going to get you, okay? Or my or family is going to get you. So don't do that, all right? Again, this is general. This will be for the month of September for my air babies, all right? You and I, you guys were screaming at me, so you guys will go first. Can someone please, um, please, please, please timestamp the video, please? And I love you a long time, okay? Also, I'm going to start with the collective reading for all of the air signs. Um, and I'm going to start with a crystal oracle messages or a crystal that could be useful for you guys for the month of September. Then we're going into the collective angel message and then we're going to get some advice and then we're going to go ahead and break it down um, sign by sign. So this will be a timestamp reading. Okay. So you guys, without further ado, let's tune in. Let's tap, tap, tap in. For Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus cross watchers, as well as the North Node and Mercury, for the signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, off the rip, collectively, I definitely tuned into the energy of creativity. Some of you guys could be starting businesses. You could be on the fence about which way that you want to navigate or how you want to navigate when it comes to starting a business. Okay, I also picked up on a lot of spiritual inheritance type of energy. Some of you guys could definitely be coming into new spiritual gifts. I am hearing clairvoyance, clair audience. I also heard mediumship. Okay. Some of you all in the month of September will really be tuned with the tune into self. I did feel a lot of growth, especially when it comes to inner growth, okay? Some of you guys are holding on to some type of major emotion in your belly when it comes to needing to speak a truth. And I feel like at this time, it's at a space of pressure bus pipes. Be very careful with that, with this damn uh, Mars and retrograde ass energy, okay? It don't pop off, all right? Go with them, take a deep breath. They powerful, all right? Some of you guys, I also picked up on this energy of needing to make a damn decision uh, regarding a move. I do feel a move is going to be delayed. I am here in October, so some of you guys could be getting some type of clarity or some type of clearing or um, approved for some type of, um, this could be a mortgage loan. I'm also hearing business loans. Some of you guys could be wanting to apply for business loans. That looks positive, but I definitely feel like if this was tied to some type of move, it will be delayed, and I feel like it has to be, it's going to be delayed due to external forces, things that you can't control, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of secret lover, so I definitely feel like the energy, and I'm also picking up on exposure, so some of you guys could be wanting to expose another person or someone is plotting and planning and strategizing on how to expose you. I do feel that someone is trying to assassinate someone's character here. Um, 
but spirit wants you to worry not you are protected and i feel like things are going to turn out in your favor somebody fuck with the wrong bitch when it comes to the law i definitely feel that some of you guys could be dealing with a situation that involves either an earth sign or a water sign when it comes to dealing with legality matters but someone doesn't really know air signs how much of your motherfucking ducks that you have in a row okay um some of you all also may be arguing with family or there could be some type of dispute in the month of September regarding your spiritual beliefs. I feel like some of you guys could be converting spiritually. Some of you all are public speakers. I am picking up on a lot of holistic energy when it comes to healing, but others of you could also be doing some type of mirror magic or fire divination that looks very powerful. I definitely feel like any ritual on the self looks very, very, very powerful during the month of September. I am hearing harvest, harvest. I do feel whatever it is that some of you guys could have made some type of major investment or started some type of partnership in the month of May. Things could have been moving a bit slowly, but I do feel this energy of whatever was still is going to actually pick up and move freely. I feel like you guys need to go with the flow. I did feel a lot of anxiety energy with you guys. When I was getting ready to do your reading, you guys, there was a sense of anxiety. Like, I didn't know... It's like I'm 1,000% sure I want to tune into my baby's energy, but there was like this tug of war, this push and pull, push and pull. So some of you guys could actually feel like this in some type of relationship, partnership, okay? Anywhere the damn ships lie, damn it. Friendships, etc. Okay? I'm also picking up on this, 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 ex okay, so go, going back to this exposing energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign because I picked up on this in the Sagittarius reading. Someone was actually taking someone's photos of their kids from their page. Some of y'all have someone creating multiple pages to spy on you. This could be someone who you least expect as well. Some of you guys are going to be very surprised when it comes to who's actually spying on you. I'm also picking up on this energy of someone feeling shut out, like someone wanting to return to someone or someone feeling entitled to someone's life due to the history that they have. But there's this sense of like feeling shut out. Someone could also be wanting you to speak up on their behalf because they feel shut out. And spirit is saying, mind the business that pay you because some of you guys have someone in your external that is going through some type of karmic, some type of karmic, um, this don't feel like karmic justice. This has to do, I'm hearing Selena Johnson, um, and Kanye West, Kanye West, oh, when it all, it all falls down, I'm telling you, oh, oh it all falls down. Okay. So I do feel this energy of things actually being karmically corrected, okay? I do feel that some of you guys could have had someone threatening you or sending you some type of like threatening messages from some from a fake page. This person could be attached to someone who you're dealing with now, like someone feels that you took something from them. There could also be some type of truth regarding something that was taken in the past. I'm hearing 25 plus years, so for some of you all, this could happen 25 plus years ago. This could involve a child. I'm picking up on the military energy, but I'm feeling that someone could have tried to cut someone out of someone's retirement funds. This could also have to do with like some type of inheritance of sorts or some type of will and testament. I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you all needing to not overindulge in fried food. Some of you guys could be taking a break or fasting or going on some type of um, green diet. You could also be converting to being a vegan or a pescatarian is what I'm picking up on in the month of September. I'm making a decision to slowly ease on up in that thing. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Intuitively, let's go ahead and get a crystal wisdom healing oracle message for you guys. What messages do you have for my air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. Air signs. Some of you guys could currently be pregnant. I feel like there could be some type of back and forth energy with the child's father. Or this could even be you as the mother. I feel like things are going to turn around in a positive way. I just feel like someone needs space. Someone's also going through a major awakening in their understanding and really trying to re-identify with self. So I feel like there's a need for me to tell you to be patient with someone or... Um, for you to actually be patient with your damn self when it comes to dealing with someone. You're not obligated to validate someone's insecure ass emotions because they ain't choosing to do the work you doing. Okay? You a magical motherfucker. Remember that. Spirit, what messages do you have? What crystal will be useful for my air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury for the month of September. Okay. Yes, get your ass busy. Get your ass to it. Say that shit. Say that shit. We go get to it, okay? Listen, you guys got Carnelian, number seven. I do feel a lot of information on things being revealed to you. I feel like this is having to be revealed. Some of this is having to be some having to do with some type of astral reveals. 
I'm also picking up on the energy of some type of opening of a portal. Some of you guys could be learning how to open portals or access your past lives. This could also be someone wanting to be some type of Akashic reader or some type of Akashic, um, some type of Akashic occultist. Someone here holds the key to opening portals. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Carnelian seven. Um, for some of you all, this could also have to do with you expanding in consciousness. Seven is knowledge. This could also have to do with things actually coming to your awareness. Okay, awareness is very important is what I'm hearing. Seven. Y'all know I don't remix these damn oracle messages and angel messages. We read them as is. Okay. You guys got carnelian, creativity. It's time to get to the bag, honey. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to supposed to be showing y'all this, honey. ADD records. Carnelian, creativity. Carnelian protects against glamours, spells, envy, and the evil eye. Bringing good fortune to the wearer, it prevents blood from rushing to the head and to co oh wait, rushing to the head to cause precipitate precipitate action. Okay. For self-understanding, you have the ability to remain calm during disputes and the self-control not to follow the crowd. Courage in the face of danger comes from inner strength, not foolhardiness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sexual drive is strong. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Directed towards creativity and raising the kundalini. For divination use, be eloquent, creative, and bold. Do not back down. Trust your intuitive perceptions. Distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Take time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present. Let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. Beware of a charismatic person. For healing insight, sufficient vitamins and minerals support your metabolism for optimum well-being. The frequency of this stone is earthy to high dependent on the clarity. The chakra that it actually assists is the base and the sacral. It's good for Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Scorpio. This is for those with the soul path of expressing your soul vitality, okay? I'm also hearing, <laughs> I'm also hearing TikTok while I dance on my demon time. She might start her OnlyFans, okay? So some of you guys could be wanting to start her OnlyFans during this time. Some of you guys could be in your damn head about starting some type of OnlyFans. But whoever I'm picking up on, you're going to be doing, I feel like this is an expression of your art. This also feels like the adult entertainment industry as well. Some of you guys are coming out of your damn shell in a good way. Get that bag, honey. Okay? Because we don't judge over here. We family. We get it how we live. Alright? So let's get it. Spirit, give me an angel message for the collective of the air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay? I'm also picking up on this energy. Someone does not like your belief or does not agree with your beliefs. But I feel like they're trying to force you to force you to move the way that they want you to move. Okay? I do feel this energy here of like, again, tug of war, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Give me an angel message for the air sign collective. Angel message for the air sign collective, okay? You guys got Venus. So some of you guys, this could definitely have to do with love. You guys got Mars. I feel like for some of you all, you could be dealing with someone who actually fights the vibration of love. Like someone isn't open to love. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with situations with people who have a lot of childhood trauma to work out. And I feel like some of you guys are ignoring the signs during this time, okay? Or some of you all feel as if you're going to lose something. Some of you guys could also be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, or an Aries, or Scorpio. Okay. We got clairsentience, Archangel Ragiel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. For some of you all, this definitely has to do with love. This is a lot of heart chakra energy. Some of you all, spirit is wanting you to stop sowing your seeds where you don't see your damn plants growing, honey. Okay? It's about being real with your damn self. You cannot expect honesty from others, but you could damn sure expect it from yourself. Alright? For others of you, this have some of you guys are needing to follow your heart when it comes to the things in which you want to do. I feel like there's this fear of judgment is what I'm hearing. And some of you all, this has to do with releasing a situation that doesn't bring you peace, doesn't bring you growth okay having the courage to do so some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a fucking tourist and you're running out of patience okay some of you all is a damn leo you guys at the bottom got courage archangel ariel be courageous and stand up for your beliefs spirit is showing me and telling me that you guys already know what to do you guys are procrastinating making some type of decision for others of you this could also have to do with someone wanting to make a move towards you but they're afraid that they're going to lose their freedom 
somebody wants somebody to be their bottom bitch. Okay? I guess I'll see you next lifetime, baby. Not in this life. Somebody's coming into their worth, all right? Spirit wants you to know again that you are protected. Have the courage to speak up and say what you need to say because some of y'all ancestors on your motherfucking hip. Like a clip. All right, Spirit. Turn these things around. Spirit, give me a message for air signs. Give me some advice for air signs as a collective. All right? Guilt. Let go of feeling guilt and find coming to so that you can come into that harmony with yourself. I feel like this has to do with your fulfillment. Your ancestors are saying that you manifested this. You manifested great things in your life and this person was not destined to be a part of them. So stop feeling guilty about the things in which you have to let go. For some of you all, there is some type of truth being held on to. And I feel like someone's conscience is eating their ass up. And someone has to have the courage to speak up. Because I feel like their ancestors are continuously guiding them and letting them know what to do. But somebody is acting like they bad shit crazy. Like they ain't get it. They ain't hear it. They ain't answer the damn phone when Jesus was on the main line. Okay? They ain't get They was trying to check the call ID and it wasn't working. But you heard it though. You heard the voice message. Damn it. All right, so that's what I have for you all collectively. We're going to jump into the twins. Gemini, is you ready, baby? Let's get it. My Gemini. My yin and yang Gemini. Yeah. Twins. What's popping? Did y'all miss me? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross, Watches, North, Node, um, as well as Mercury. You guys, I showed Miss Child asses. I know y'all like, yeah, she sung the song. I literally heard some Gemini say, yeah, she sung the song. <laughs> you guys, Gemini, I want to say that I'm so proud of you first and foremost. What I actually picked up while channeling in your energy, to be honest, um, there was a lot of creativity. I felt a lot of silent moves, Gemini, okay? I also felt this green with envy energy, okay? Some of you guys could definitely have a water sign or a fire sign where there's a sense of silent competition. Be very, 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 be very, very um, careful when it comes to sharing your feelings or sharing your ideas with another individual, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's, a, there's, there, there's this cat and mouse energy. Some of you guys are done walking away from someone who is not openly expressive with their emotions and their feelings because I feel like some of you all, you feel as if somebody, a motherfucker playing with you. And I do feel this energy of someone being very resistant toward the emotion of love. But there's this strong feminine energy where this person can't resist. Whoever this is, this individual had a lack thereof of control or a need of validation from a mother figure when they were growing up. Like someone never really could think for themselves. This could also be somebody who's been getting through life with that D or with that P. Okay, take it high resonate. All right. Some of you all, I did pick up on this energy also of travel. Some of you guys could be wanting to travel. This could also be some type of unexpected travel or invitation to travel. Um, I do feel that it's, it's going to be, it will be very, very beneficial if you go on this trip. I feel like some of you guys are coming into some type of awareness of the source. A lot of you all, Geminis, are going into this space of hermit mode and really, really focusing on, focusing on what it is that you're trying to build, okay? Because I did get this innovative, this cultivating energy with Gemini. Some of you all are spiritual teachers. I did pick up on the energy again of herbal divination. Some of you guys could have fire in your chart. Some of you guys could have some type of back and forth relationship. I feel like someone could have also been trying to avoid some type of tower moment, but it's happening. I'm also hearing the spell work. The spell work was reversed. The spell work was reversed. I feel like someone's ancestors stepped into some or, or intervened in a situation where someone was trying to put somebody in a casket. Okay, I feel like someone did some type of casket ritual. I'm also picking up some type of glamour spell or some type of mirror magic. Okay, I'm also picking up on the energy between this could be like a mother and a daughter. This could also be like I feel like someone could actually be expressing how they feel during the month of September or someone wants to express how they feel someone feels as if their mother does not accept what it is that they do or their mother is really fake about or have some type of dry energy regarding supporting them someone's making a damn decision to back away from a mother or a sister figure this feels very feminine okay also I'm picking up on someone who you could have known since childhood this could be someone um, who could be returning back to you or there could be some type of unexpected or unplanned meeting but I am picking up on someone wanting to um, rekindle things with you I'm also picking up on someone 
Okay, so for some of you guys, there's some of y'all are dealing with some type of paranormal activity. Some of you guys are coming into the gift of mediumship. And I feel like for some of you all, there could be a sense of like curiosity, but there's also a sense of fear. Some of you all don't know what to do with your gift or how you're supposed to help other people. Or there's this sense of needing to come out of your shell and be more authentic. I feel like there's this space of feeling restricted. Uh, feeling restricted around the things that's external to you when it comes to your authenticity. I feel like Gemini is not letting anyone make them feel as if they're in a box in the month of September. Some of y'all is busting the hell out in a major way. I am picking up strongly on adult entertainment. I'm also picking up as well with music as well. Some of you guys are writers, poets. You're putting yourself out there more. I'm also picking up on someone wanting to open up either a tarot channel. Or this could also be some type of uh, Mua channel makeup artist. Someone can sell eyelashes. I'm seeing eyelashes and lip glosses or lipstick. I'm also hearing branding, LLCs, cover your content, Gemini. Someone could have stole your idea. Some of y'all definitely got fire in your choice. Some of you guys, somebody could have stolen your idea. I'm also hearing try to steal your person. I feel like there's a lot of heavy energy of over Gemini this month what happened in the past but I feel like we're going back to acknowledge these things so that we can find a resolution within self to assist us with growing you guys are learning transmutation some of you guys are also getting into some form of alchemy as well some of you guys could be studying um, studying some type of law or laws when it comes to um, housing laws some of y'all is dealing with a shisty ass landlord. Someone could be trying to really finesse you out your damn money, but this person is not fixing any damn thing. I feel like this person is giving you a hard time. Somebody needs to pull up them damn CDC laws when it comes to, uh, I think it was just recently put out either on the 9th or the 10th. Go check that out, y'all. Don't don't quote me on it. I ain't no damn politician, honey. Okay? These mosquitoes is something serious in Texas, y'all. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone trying to cause division within a family. This could be gossip. This could also be rumors. I feel like whatever rumors that was going on, things are going to be clarified in the month of September, okay? And I am hearing unexpected towers, okay? So just brace yourself and stay grounded, Geminis. I'm hearing stay productive, stay strategizing, and try to move forward, okay? So Spirit, give me an angel message for my gems for the month of September. Give me an angel message. I'm a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, North Node, and Mercury for the month of September, okay? Some of you guys have a life path around children, all right? Some of you all need to know that you're safe. Some of you guys could also be very fucking psychic. I feel like your gifts are very intense This uh, during the month of September. You guys got Indigo and Crystal Children. Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Some of you guys definitely have gifted children is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys this could also have to do with some type of reconciliation with a child's parent. Some of you all also are breaking lineage cycles when it comes to abandonment. I feel like someone wants to come and rectify things, Gemini. And Spirit needs you to know that allow yourself to flow compromise not control because I strongly feel like some of you guys are in this combative energy and really focused on what happened in the past to you but spirit is saying heal acknowledge these things heal because I definitely feel some of you all are expected to argue with someone but they're actually coming in peace okay this could be an earth sign or a fire sign someone wants things to be fair Someone also could be going through some type of custody battle with their children. There could be worries around that, but Spirit wants you to know that, baby, you're safe, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. There is fear. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn where there is fear around some type of truth being exposed. This could also have to do with the Leo or a Scorpio. You guys also got career transition. Come on, honey. Archangel Shemuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Some of you all are on the fence about leaving a particular situation, but I feel like Spirit is saying, hold your horses. Hold your horses, make a grounded decision, and make sure that you set your ass up to be okay. I also feel that some of you guys could be wanting to go and research when it comes to uh, pulling some type of money out of your 401k to start a business. That's a, that's a divine move, and you're being intuitively guided to do that, okay? Others of you, this could also have to do with some type of... I'm hearing location. Some of y'all could be looking for a particular location to start a business. 
I'm also hearing real estate. Some of you guys could be wanting to get into real estate. This could have to do with like flipping properties, reselling them and renting them out, okay? I'm feeling like there's a major transition that's going on in your career thing. Again, things that were stagnant are now moving. This could also have to do with the expression, you expressing yourself, the throat chakra, okay? Some of you guys are healers. Some of you guys could also be psychiatrists or some type of mentor around children. I feel like for some of y'all, there could be some type of heavy caseload. If you work around children, this could be anything having to do with children. This could be city, state. This could also be your own business. This could even be a psychiatrist or a therapist. Some of you guys are going to experience something that is very triggering with you regarding your children. I'm also hearing some of you guys need to balance time out for your children. Some of you guys, some of you guys your children needs more of your nurturing energy instead of you being so practical all the time and they don't know how to speak up about that without feeling as if they gonna you know you're gonna come out of a bag on their ass okay for others of you this also have to do with you choosing you over the loyalty that you because some of y'all have been at a company at a very for a very 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 long time and you're afraid of how your uh your associates your boss is going to feel about you making that move you could have been you know they say a spoon soon um but i definitely feel like this is about you some of you all have spent most of your damn life sacrifice uh, self-sacrificing and spirit is saying it's a time of harvest it's a time to receive y'all i keep having to move this damn leg that slide down here i live in the hot ass south okay all right so spirit give me some advice for my gemini's breakthrough baby know that a breakthrough is coming Especially when it comes to some type of career uh, career move or career shift. This could also do with starting some type of business. This could also, the spirit is saying, take a chance on you, my baby, okay? Because I definitely feel that it's going to bring a, a breakthrough. This could also, some of y'all got some, um, some of y'all have some blessings that are going to be coming in toward the end of the month. I feel like for those of you who have been waiting on some type of finances to come in, they're going to come unexpectedly. You could have, they could have told you mid-October, but I feel like the last week of September is going to be very important for some of y'all, okay? I'm also picking up on this energy again compromise don't worry about how things was in the motherfucking past with the clinging to the past car but compromise finding a meeting in between a meeting of the minds understanding a situation and looking at it from a space of compassion but also being understanding towards the other person i'm not telling you put you last by no motherfucking means because you know i would be a hypocrite if i said that but what i am going to say is listen to your inner voice listen to your intuition especially when it comes to dealing with a particular friendship okay that person who feels like an outsider spirit is saying they ass is it supposed to be on the outside they wasn't meant to come with you on your path okay so let's dig into the tarot let's dig into y'all juice all right gemini some of you guys got somebody passing by your house this person could have a silver car i also see a green car a red what looks like a truck or an suv someone drives a black impala some of y'all could also be dealing with someone with the initials P, T, M, R, O, J, H. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for my gems? Some of my other Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, North Node, and Mercury for the month of September, okay? Definitely a reconciliation. Some of you guys have a water sign that is in their damn feeling. Somebody have a water sign that is drinking, smoking. This person really, really wants your energy. They want to have that connection to you. But I feel like this person ain't got their shit together. This person could also have like multiple people that they entertain. I feel like you struck this person's ego and it, it feels like a challenge. Like someone feels as if they have to have you, but it's more obsessive than authentic, okay? Someone has a lot of self-work to do. I feel like some of you all intuitively know that this person is still hiding some shit and you're absolutely right, all right? Some of you all have a, a air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person wants to reconcile, but I feel like this person is gonna try to come in and be manipulative. This person could even be trying to flip things over to make you feel as if like, this person wants to be victimized coming back into your life. If someone's trying to play on your damn compassion, Gemini, all right? I'm also feeling here somebody could have had a child with someone who wants to come back and reconcile. Someone wants to come back and argue over some damn money as well, okay? I'm also picking up on someone stalking your home to get your damn address to file some type of civil suit on you, okay? This could even be you with another individual. I feel like someone could have manipulated an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, in the past. I feel like someone's coming to shake some shit up in a household here, okay? 
Some of you guys could also be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, or an Aquarius. I feel like someone's focus on money before they move forward in a relationship. They make you feel someone tried to make you feel as if you weren't enough or you didn't have enough or as if you were the problem when it comes to things not working. I feel like this person is a motherfucking narcissist with mommy issues, is what I'm picking up on, okay? Some of you guys feel as if somebody could have also tried to do some type of magic regarding an air, a water. This could even be two air signs. In, an, in a either a um, fire sign some of y'all it's a Leo some of y'all it's an Aries someone was trying to manipulate someone due to the fact that they needed them for a space of needed them from us needed them or they feel like they needed them for stability now this individual feels fucking stuck okay I feel like the magic backfired they got what the hell they want but now they feel stuck and trapped in their own damn head and not sure on how to fucking move forward okay some of you all someone some of y'all feel like a Pisces could have also played you when it comes to hiding a baby mama or a baby father some of you all have a Scorpio that's still a hoe okay others of you that could you could have a child by a fire sign this could also be involving a fire sign someone wants to make something right possibly involving a water sign or a fire sign child but for some of you all i am hearing mental illness you question this person's mental capacity okay this could definitely have to do with the family situation someone feels bind to being with someone who they're not in love with due to the fact that they got a family with this person here some of you guys also could be wanting to invest in some type of business collaboration with a karmic ass individual who shows you that they're irresponsible spirit is saying pay attention to the red flags some of you all could also be done this month holding your damn tongue or investing in a situation possibly with an aquarius a taurus a leo a scorpio or a sagittarius i feel like for some of you all this person you feel like this person only comes around when they need something some of you all, this person is not in love, but they're wanting to hold on to your relationship for a place. Some of y'all, somebody literally is come to, wanting to come back and reconcile because they asked me the place to stay. Okay? If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like someone wants to communicate where there was a sense of resisting. Someone wants to move forward, but they don't know if you're going to be cool to come out of a bag on their ass or this is you. If you're dealing with an earth sign, you're really tired of investing in this relationship, in this partnership with this individual because you feel as if all the responsibility of the relationship emotionally is on your back. And you're just not going to deal with that. So for some of you all, you're cutting ties. You're going in this space of hermit mode, okay? Some of you all, you could also have a manipulative ass Libra that's trying to hold on to you and their family situation they could be using money to get back into your good graces okay but i definitely feel some type of unexpected blessing that's coming in after you and in stop internally fighting your damn self and make that move to let shit go because it's fucking toxic some of y'all this is a damn gemini some of you guys could be moving away from a toxic ass fucking cancer okay but i definitely feel like blessings are coming whatever is happening gemini's it's not happening to you it's for you and i feel like it's happening because for some of you all you're procrastinating making some type of move some of y'all also going to find out that someone could have had some type of child or had some type of affair possibly with a fire sign or a water sign going for at least 10 or more years okay some of you guys could be finding this out i feel like there could be some type of art or even a physical fight hold your temper Gemini because some of you all somebody's coming back to get you out your skin this person likes it when you are mad like someone feels as if they need that access to your energy so bad that they don't give a damn if they got to piss you off or not but I see that you're not fucking for it you over it you want an actual real commitment you want to be abundant you want fulfillment and you getting out of this but you're gonna make it make it real clear to this motherfucker listen baby keep your little coin I want a big ass cup and a big ass coin and I manifested that so because I manifested the spirit said you can't fit in my space period all right so let me get some closing advice for Gemini spirit yeah Releasing the motherfucking burden. Get that monkey off your back. Some of you all are afraid of the unknown. Spirit is saying you're going to start over and look beautiful doing so. You're going into the space of a new beginning that allows you to be your authentic self, your vulnerable self. Well, you don't have to feel like you're looking over your shoulders and you got to walk on eggshells to make another motherfucker feel comfortable in your space. Period. All right. So let's see. All right. So that's what I have for my Geminis for the month of September, you guys. I love you long time and I pray that this resonates. Bye, babies. Libra, oh Libra. Wish popping, gang, get a gang, gang, get a gang, 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 gang. Did you miss me? Hey, Libra gang. Listen, honey, Libras, for the month of September, honey. You guys, 
I definitely, definitely, definitely felt the energy for my Libras for the month of uh, September strategy, not stress, okay? Strategy, not stress. I also picked up on the energy of the proper planning, okay? I did hear delays, okay? So some of you guys could be experiencing delays. I am hearing October, okay? For some of you all, mm, between the first and the second week of October, I am hearing loans, positive news, positive news around loans. So for some of you guys, I did pick up on the energy of you guys making huge investments or big investments during this time. I'm also picking up on the energy of some type of investment paying off for you, something that you could have invested in possibly in the month of May. For some of you all, July, okay? I also picked up on the energy of Libra, they're watching, watching, okay? I definitely picked up on a lot of energy of stalking, okay? So this could be you watching another person or another person watching you. I also picked up on this one-sided competitive like energy i definitely felt the energy of you guys needing to get grounded not all of you but some of you all are needing to get grounded there's a lot of anxiety around your next move okay for some of you all also faithless fear um also there's a need for you not to not to be so far in the damn future that you're that you're missing what's right in front of you here in the present okay Libras, I keep hearing congratulations. Some of you guys could be actually receiving some type of certificates or actually finish, finishing out some course. Some of you guys could be wanting to go back to school or thinking about going back to school or also changing your major if you're already in school. I also picked up on the energy of stagnancy. I feel like this had to do with your love life, but also communication and compromise, not control. For some of you all, you could be dealing with someone extremely controlling. I definitely picked up on the energy of abuse, okay? Some of you all also picked up on a situation where you could have you could be going through some type of divorce settlement with someone or some type of divorce uh, d divorce proceedings. But for some of you all, this could have to do with maybe your the person who you're separating from. They could be dating someone new. This could have also been someone who they were involved with in some type of third party situation when you guys were together. And there could be talks about custody or also some type of visitation around this. Some of you all. I'm going to be honest, y'all, because we family, okay? And I love you. I love your ass long time. But I definitely feel a salty ass energy, a need to truly put the children first. This could be you or another person. But I definitely feel like someone is salty as fuck at the fact that, they're, they're, that, they're, that their children are going to be around another person. I'm also picking up on this energy of, um, I'm hearing Bryson Tiller. I got to ride my wrongs. This here is where I belong. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, or Cancer. I'm also feeling the energy of like a push and pull, a push and pull, a tug of war. And this feels like a tug of war of the heart strings, the heart strands. Some of you all are coming into new spiritual gifts. I'm hearing clear essence, clear audience. There could also be talks about starting some type of vlog around spirituality. Some of you guys could be wanting to start something new. Or I'm also hearing Mua makeup artists. Some of you all are in the energy of... Okay, some of y'all are so used to giving that you don't know how to receive. Some of you all need to be open to help or because I do feel some type of advice coming in sometime in the month of September. This could have been the first half or this could be the latter half of September. But some of you all, I'm feeling this energy of you not trusting it. This could have to do with some type of reconciliation. I'm hearing co-parenting, co-parenting. I'm also hearing amicable, okay? So I definitely feel like some of you guys want to do, a some, some of you guys are going through some type of split or separation and you want things to be amicable. You really don't want to fight, but you're dealing with a very conference individual some of you guys are on the fence about how to move next when it comes to the like navigating a project some of y'all dealing with someone who is really projecting their negative ass energy onto you this could have to do with the Taurus is what I'm hearing some y'all this could also be a Leo I feel that for some of you all this authenticity is very important for you in the month of September like really standing standing in your power standing in your authenticity I'm also hearing new cars. Some of you guys could be in the market of looking for a new car. Others of you could be having some type of engine engine, engine issue out of nowhere is what I'm hearing. Engine issue. Some of y'all need to change your damn uh, transmission screen. Okay, I don't like that. Some of y'all need to change your damn transmission screen. I feel like there could be some type of slipping in your transmission. Spirit, give me a message, an angel message for Libra for the month of September. Angel message for Libra for the month of September. Feel me. I want to feel the fire. Yeah. Okay, so some of y'all, 
somebody wants to feel your fire, Le uh, Libra. Some of you, I almost said Leo. It could be a Leo. Some of you guys, this could have to do with the Gemini. Okay, Gemini fell out. All right. For the month of September, we got Indigo and Crystal Children, Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive, okay? Some of you all have a life path around crystal or indigo children. Others of you, you could be the crystal or indigo child. For some of you all, this has to do with your skills of empathy. I'm also picking up a lot of connectivity, also a lot of throat chakra activity, Libra. Some of you all are needing to speak up about, speak up and be more, uh, speak up and be more authentic and more clear and more vigilant when it comes to proceeding within your purpose because I feel like for some of you all there's some type of distraction energy around your purpose is what I'm hearing some of you all this could also be intentionally being done or projected y'all forgive me the ice cream man is coming I live in the hood and on my side <laughs> some of you all Libra this could definitely have to do again I'm hearing co-parenting so some of you all this could have to do with a co-parenting situation hold on y'all Okay, if, okay. I'm also picking up on someone wants to see their child. Like someone could be feeling as if you or another person is you or the other person is keeping a child away, or someone could be want, uh, regretting some type of desire to disconnect from a relationship due to a child. Like someone's not happy in a relationship, but maybe you're staying together because of the children. Some y'all are really needing to be true within yourself and be true within what it is that you feel because I feel like for some of you all you're doing things for the I'm picking up on someone needing to be perfect like someone gives a damn about how the outside world looks at them and I feel like Libra this could be you or another person I'm also picking up on the energy of getting rest like some of y'all asses is in overdrive in the month of September is what I'm picking up on Spirit give me some messages for the zodiac sign of Libra someone rising this I'm free north and other spouse watchers for the month of September. Some of you all are internally conflicted regarding how to approach a, a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of love with this individual, but there's also a lot of pride with this individual. I feel like someone's intimidated by the intent, by the attention that another person gets. Okay. Someone has a Libra for the month of September. Okay. Yeah, some of you all Libra could definitely be moving. Some of you all are giving a um, possibly a Virgo some type of ultimatum. Some of you guys could also be illuminated uh, regarding a situation where that that could have to do with children. Again, I'm hearing proper planning. Some of you all could be planning some type of move behind someone's. Well, really, I'm hearing behind someone's back. This could have to do with the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For others of you, you're removing yourself from a situation where that makes you feel stuck, restricted, or limited. This could also have to do with your belief system. I'm hearing some of you guys could live with your family and someone doesn't agree with your beliefs. But I feel like for some of you all, you're done trying to give to people who don't appreciate your substance when it comes to the value and really your value. This has to do with, the, with your core values, your core belief systems. Some of you all, I'm also hearing conversion. Some of you all could be... Um, Converting or con conversion when it comes to your converting when it comes to your belief system. I do feel that some of you all could be reaching. Uh, some of you guys could be reaching out to a Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, and Aries individual. Someone wants to express love, but someone is not sure if someone has another part or have another person that they're involved with. I also feel that someone could be watching another individual online, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be going through some type of separation or some type of breakup. And for some of you all, some of y'all are finding out that someone is reconnecting with someone just to piss you off. Someone's being very petty because I feel like someone didn't want to leave a relationship here. So someone's really trying to grind your gears, Libra. Hold steady, baby. Petty never wins. And if they do, it's a fucking Libra. Y'all petty as hell. On the humble. I love y'all asses, though. I learned my petty from y'all. That's what I'm going to tell everybody else. <laughs> all right so i definitely feel like some of you guys could, yeah some of you all could have been manifesting or there's a fire sign manifesting you i also feel that if things were stagnant or not moving when it comes to a particular project or creative venture i definitely feel like the restrictions the restrictions are being lifted here i'm also picking up on the energy of some of you guys could be uh, gazing at the sunrise there could also be some type of download that you receive from the sunrise 
if you have a Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, or a Virgo around you, stop telling these people. Stop telling these people your plans because I feel like some of you all, someone could be trying to restrict your movement forward. Like someone is intentionally trying to be a dick here. Okay. Some of you guys, if you were going through a situation possibly with an Aquarius. I definitely feel like someone's being open about them wanting to explore their options elsewhere. I feel like some of y'all are bored in a situation, but I feel like you're used to, it's like you're comfortable, but you're not happy. And some of you all are doing something about it in the month of September. I feel that a lot of you all are starting to get out more. I'm also picking up on like events. This could be urban events. This could also be events within your community. Some of you all are also wanting to be more active within your community. There could be something that inspires you. This could have to do with the cause or some type of cause around children. Some of you have a very gifted water sign child or an earth sign child. I feel like this child is meant to be a leader or some of you all, I'm hearing prophet. Some of you all have a child that prophesizes. Some of you all also have children that are mediums. Be very, be very communicative with your children in the month of September. I feel like some message is going to be confirmed for you through your children. Yeah. Some of you also have a Capricorn Taurus Virgo that doesn't want to let the situation go. This person could be wanting to give you something or give you something like material. Someone could also be playing on your circumstances to make you not want to leave them. I feel like some of y'all dealing with an earth sign that's very narcissistic. This person cares about money a whole damn lot, but they don't see how they don't value the love that you share. You the motherfucking empress. Hello. Some of y'all could also be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations, Mocha Love the Kids. Also, I feel that some of you all could also have a new relationship or could be dealing with someone new who could be a Pisces, Aries, Taurus. Libra, a Leo. Some of you all also have a co-parenting relationship where someone wants to come back and make you a love offer, but I feel like they want to start slow and be friends for the children. This could also be someone who, where there was a sense of like no contact. Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, but I feel like when it comes to relationships, a lot of you guys in the month of September are going to be focused on your damn money. I feel like some of you all are Libra men is what I'm hearing. Some of you all are avoiding your, your, your healing process. I feel like you focused on the bag, but I feel like there's going to be some type of aha moment toward the end of September that's going to make you guys really sit back and truly go reassess and realign yourselves. For those of you who are wanting to do, wanting to move towards some type of entrepreneurial project, for those of you who are questioning some type, questioning some type of collaboration, if it's with another air sign, yes, okay. If it's with the fire sign, no. I feel that there's gonna there's some type of mixing of business and personal that's gonna go all fucking bad, or could have in the past. This person is coming back with another offer and spirit is saying, keep it cute, okay. But they get they ass the boot real nicely and gracefully, okay. I definitely feel like, yeah, there's for some of y'all, there is snakish ass people around you, especially if you're in a relationship with someone and this person sees you evolving. Someone feels as if they don't have a thing. So some of y'all sleep with the damn enemy because this person doesn't have a thing, okay? I definitely feel like there could have been some type of ending with an Aries or a Taurus individual, but it's ultimately to set you up to be in this space of fulfillment, my baby, okay? So we're going to get some advice from my Libras for the month of September. Advice from my Libras. For the month of September. Some of y'all are definitely getting the fuck away from an earth sign. Capricorn to a Virgo. I feel like there's a cycle that's ending. And there's this space that you're coming into of acceptance. And I love it, okay? What the fuck I tell y'all is, alright? Some of y'all dealing with somebody who definitely projects a lot of negative energy onto you. And Spirit is saying the advice here is that now that you, when you know better, you do better, alright? So any type of business plans, any type of plans of renewal, we're postponing them. And we're going to allow this person to show you who the fuck they are because they never let you down, alright? You're being guided to let a situation go to free your soul from anything that makes you feel limited, restricted, or as if you can't be your authentic self leave but you're aware of this now, okay? So that's what I have for you guys for the month of September. I pray that you guys resonate with this message. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found again within the description, and I love you a long time. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. <laughs> Wish popping, my babies. Did you miss me? <laughs> Aquarius, are you guys in this space of really, really reflecting on self and really focus on getting to that damn bag and starting something new that is true to you? <laughs> this will be for the Summer Rising Venus Cross Watchers North Node and Mercury. 
sign of Aquarius. Okay, for the month of September, you guys, this message ain't gonna resonate with every damn body, but let's get it, all right? You guys, immediately what I heard with Aquarius is expansion, expansion, okay? This could be expansion in your awareness and your consciousness. I'm hearing your spiritual gifts for the month of September. Some of you all are standing up to a matriarchal figure. This could be a mother or a sister, but you're speaking your truth. Someone is, someone feels as if they're combating your spiritual beliefs. I feel like this person is projecting their fears onto you because they're resisting leaving the situation. And I feel like you're draining yourself overly trying to give to situations. Be very careful when it comes to who you give your energy to in the month of September, Aquarius. Because I feel like for, even though you guys are very 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 cerebral i feel that some of you are someone's trying to make you feel less than okay and aquarius ain't having it i'm also picking up on this energy aquarius they sorry somebody is sorry honey they is sorry i'm hearing sagittarius taurus this could be a libra also a gemini they're sorry aquarius they sorry i'm also hearing pisces okay some of you all there is Someone new, this feels like someone who could have Leo or Virgo placements. I feel like they're very fiery, but very grounded. This individual, you could be uh, getting to know this individual. This individual could also have an interest of getting to know you. Someone's getting ready to come out of hiding is what I'm hearing. Some of you all also have a Pisces that your ass can't get rid of. I feel like for some of you all, this also this is like a test for you all when it comes to expressing yourself. The throat chakra, putting you first, walking in your authentic truth. Some of you all could have Libra placements. I'm also picking up on a very, very, very Venusian-like energy. Some of you all are full of love in the month of September. I feel like some of you all are pouring that love into your expression, into your expressive, uh, expressive projects. I'm also hearing energy healing. Some of you guys could be energy healers. Some of you guys could be practitioners or could be learning more about practitioning. I'm also picking up on a lot of elemental divination. This could also be learning some type of um, alchemic. Hmm. This feels like ancient magic, but it revolves around some form of alchemy. I'm also picking up on past life regression. Some of you all are able to access as well as uh, consciously, subconsciously access what feels like portals in your astral space. A lot of you all are experiencing a lot of downloads, but within your astral space. For some of you all, it's happening consciously, but there's a need for you all to get outside more Aquarius. I feel like some of you all are needing to put your feet in the damn dirt. Some of you all are also shamans, okay? I'm also picking up on a lot of crystal healing. I'm picking up on a lot of Reiki energy. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone who could, someone could also read palms or could be into palmistry. I'm hearing consultations. I'm also hearing workshops. Some of you all could be going into some, into some type of philosophical business where you're wanting to do um, vlogs. I'm also hearing nonprofit. I'm hearing herbal medicine, some of you guys also, and I'm also hearing reoccurring, so something could be reoccurring during this time. I feel like you could have missed it the first time, but the second time you're catching it like on the money, I'm hearing you're on the money. This could have to do with your suspicions or some type of confirmations being, well, something being confirmed for you around some type of infidelity in a partnership. I'm also hearing paternity tests. Someone could have tried to go behind your back and get some type of paternity test done. Some of you guys, the paperwork could be coming to your home. I'm also hearing... Okay. I'm hearing fire with fire. There could be some type of dispute with the fire sign or around the fire sign. This could also have to do with some type of like family issue or issues within the family. Some of y'all are dealing with a lot of envious ass energy. Like someone around you really envies your damn light. I feel like spirit really wants you to keep shining. The more you focus on that, the less it is that you can see how the potential that you have to grow. Keep shining on these bitches, Aquarius. Alright. Let's see what the angels have to say. Angels, what messages do you have for my aqua babies for the month of September? Sun moon rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury, and the cross watches for the sign of Aquarius for the month of September. Aquarius, the month of September. You guys got overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiel. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. I'm hearing restrictions removed, okay? So some of you all, this could also have to do with you speaking your truth and knowing that you are protected. Some of you guys could be finding feathers. I am seeing frogs, dragonflies, butterflies. They could, this, these could be significant. I'm also seeing crows or ravens. 
I'm picking up on the energy here for Aquarius. Some of you all, there's a lot of standing in your truth for the month of September. This could have to do with something that you do for work as well. Some of you all are not passionate about just having a job. You want to build your legacy off of something that you love. Some of you guys could also be uh, getting some type of advice when it comes to expanding some type of current business that you are already in motion on building. This could also you be... This, I'm also hearing assessing gifts that, assessing gifts that you haven't been open or vulnerable with or about. I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with connectivity. Some of you all are extremely empathic. There's a need for you to protect your energy. You may be very hermited and really just focusing on strategizing, plotting, and strategizing, and executing. Some of you guys also could have been dealing with a situation where you were worried about um, having to leave some type of home. I feel that you're not going to have to leave any homes. Okay, so Spirit wants me to confirm for someone that you're not going to have to leave. For some of you all, you needed to study up on law. Some of you guys could be wanting to go to school for law as well is what I'm hearing. All right. Give me a tarot message. It's a sign of Aquarius. Tarot sign. I'm hearing Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries. This could be important. Leo. Someone's sorry. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, somebody is going down, Aquarius. Okay, this could literally, this could be literal. Someone could have also done some type of fraudulent uh, activity around paperwork. Some of you guys could be, uh, some of you guys could be finding out that someone could have like, I'm hearing forgery. Someone could have forged someone's signature around some type of will, inheritance, or testament, and hit a will, inheritance, and testament. Y'all know what the fuck is what, what the fuck is wrong with my words, y'all? Just flow with me, honey. I'm feeling slow down Aquarius yeah some of you all there is some type of yeah someone could be communicating that they want commitment some of you guys could be giving someone an ultimatum I'm not gonna be your motherfucking girlfriend for 10 years listen I'm not gonna be a decade just the boo the fuck is wrong with you I can't get that time back others of you you could also be um hmm Again, I'm getting that child support thing. Some of y'all could be having some type, someone communicating honestly about some type of child support case. I feel like someone was trying to keep something hidden and it's coming to the surface here. I am hearing child support strongly, okay? There could also be some type of communication regarding some type of legal case here. I'm also picking up on LLC, copyrights, your content. Some of you all, are, there's a need for you to protect your content. Some of you all also, someone could be communicating that they don't, they no longer want to be in a commitment. They no longer want to be a part of a commitment. Someone here could be bored. Some of you all are also internally conflicted when it comes to possibly dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Someone's losing patience when it comes to a connection here. Someone feels as if they can't heal in their current environment. They need to move. I'm also picking up on the energy. Yeah, somebody could... Some of you all also, okay, so for those of you who have been patiently waiting for the right time to make some type of investment, I definitely feel that, see that the month of September is going to be very great when it comes to manifesting or harvesting into new ideas. I feel like I'm also seeing something about your seed, hearing something about your seeds growing. Whatever seeds that was previously planted, I'm hearing in June and July for you guys, your patience is paying off here. I definitely feel like there's some type of positive news regarding finances in the month of September. This feels like the latter half of September, Aquarius, okay? Yes. Some of you all also could be getting some type of offer of reconciliation, possibly from um, the father of your children. This person could be an Aries or a Taurus. Some of you all are patiently waiting for somebody to get their shit together because you just see your... Some of you all know that you're supposed to be with someone. And it's causing you not to look at others, but you're tired of waiting on this individual. So yeah, you're running out of patience, Aquarius. Some of you all also could also be hearing about your divine masculine having some type of health issues, okay? Some of you all also are setting boundaries possibly with a cancer. When it comes to an equal give and take, some of you all feel as if you give, give, give emotionally for this person to take, take, take. Somebody gonna find out that another person is with them only for stability. Like someone is not in love, they just, they did, they just used to being comfortable. Some of you guys could be dealing with a air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. I definitely feel if you're dealing with a legal case that involves a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, 
another Aquarius like yourself. I feel that justice is going to be in your favor. For some of you all, a cycle could be ending with you and a Libra as well. I feel like someone's opening up and expressing their love if you're dealing with the water sign. Someone, oh yeah, closing something out is also karmic justice to you, Aquarius. There's a cycle closing. Some of you guys, this could also have to do with someone who could be in some type of marriage or partnership. Someone could be letting go of some type of commitment. I definitely feel like if you're dealing with the sign of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone is done with another person's bullshit. Someone's also setting boundaries. Listen, I'm going to be a wife. Not a damn side piece. Not a damn late night slide. Like, none of that. Some of you all definitely have a Sagittarius that wants to come back from the past. Now that this, this person's only coming back because I feel like you were different, Aquarius. This could be a very narcissistic individual is what I'm picking up on. But this person, instead of playing their game, you removed yourself from this person's game. And then you began to flourish. Now this person wants to come back. You are this person's karma, all right? Some of you guys could have uh, could be hearing from someone who's a Capricorn. Some, some of y'all want to make a love offer. If there's someone who wants to make a love offer to you, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, um also an Aries individual this person is afraid either you or another person is afraid of rejection so this is why you guys are not opening up even though there's a lot of passion there I feel like you could be dealing with someone that's a bit younger than you as well some y'all dealing with a fire sign that's younger than you some y'all could also be dealing with someone yeah some y'all are finding out that someone could have been keeping some secret to themselves to protect their money regarding possibly an Aries or a Scorpio individual but I definitely feel like whatever tower is happening it's to, it's, it's to assist you in progressing forward into moving forward into something that is divine and for you i definitely feel like some of you guys could be moving away from a soulmate you could be communicating that you want to leave a situation here okay but i feel like uh, this could also be someone communicating to you that they left a situation behind especially if this was a marriage or a long-term commitment i feel like they're the sagittarius that wants they that, that i'm hearing i choose you baby you Okay, so this could also, yes, Aquarius, they choose you and they sorry. That's that fucking Sag cutting up like that coming through, all right? Someone knows that you're single and they don't want to miss their opportunity for some of you all. And others of you have an opportunity not to damn be single, to go and get in the damn drive in the bay lane. But your ass is stubborn or scared that someone's going to hurt you before you even experience the possibilities of what could be. It could go bad, but it could fucking go good too, Aquarius. Now you won't know if your ass don't go and grow, okay? I definitely feel like anything that you're doing new, anything that you're starting new at this time, again, harvest, harvest. So I am picking up on a harvest of whatever it is that you could have been manifesting around the last new moon. Okay. So let's get it. Give me some advice for Aquarius. Ooh. Advice for Aquarius for the month of September. Advice for my Aquarius for the month of September. Some of y'all have a new love and you need to let go of someone who could be a fire sign. You having to make a damn decision. Do I choose waiting or do I choose fulfillment? Okay. Yes. Advice. Yes. For some of you all, you're moving too fast when it comes to how you share yourself or how you want to present yourself to the world. You're moving too fast when it comes to some type of business plan, like slowing down and truly strategizing your ideas. Some of you all are trying to do every damn thing at one time and spirit is saying, slow down. Take your time, okay? I feel like some of you all, this could have to definitely do with a new business or some type of new project, okay? Or some type of new venture that you're wanting to invest in. It looks very positive, okay? But definitely slow down. I feel like it's going to be fulfilling, but First Spirit is really wanting you to master that harmony within self. Anything that makes you feel out of your element, Spirit is really wanting you to ground yourself, clear your energy so that you could make some very structured decisions versus sitting in a space of worrying about what could go wrong do something about it my baby this is your motherfucking rise like the phoenix honey okay everything that is falling away is happening to clear space for harmony and peaceful times prosperous times certain energies just don't go together my baby and there's a space of acceptance that needs to happen some of you all are just choosing to isolate yourself and focus on your focus on your what it is that you're creating and it looks damn good all right so, you guys, this is what I have for you for the month of September. I pray that it resonates. I love y'all last this long time. All right? Send you guys peace, love, healing, prosperity, you guys, and happiness. And I will see you guys for the middle of, well, for the mid-half of September videos. Love y'all. Oh, and if you haven't, take your ass over there on Instagram and go follow at mocha underscore love. 
underscore tarot. There's Weekly T over there. They're beginning uploading now. 